Hi there, it's Claire from Clarify Creations, and it's finally time to do a semester update slash recap. If you're new to my channel, I am now in my last semester of nursing school, graduating in 117 days, and I'm gonna be kind of reflecting back on the last semester, so senior year, first semester. I will be honest by saying last term was the hardest term that I've ever had in school. And I feel like I say that every time I make one of these videos, but you guys, it was an uphill battle almost the entire way. I will be sharing all of my grades, all the GPAs, test scores. I will be inserting some clips here and there so you can kind of get a picture of what it was like. But first and foremost, I just want to say thank you to all my friends and all my family for supporting me through. I didn't think that I was honestly going to make it. And that's really, really hard, especially when you're almost done with school and you start questioning your entire life's choices, your entire career is nursing really for me. But for what I lacked in, God definitely made up for me and he carried me through and somehow I managed to pass all my classes and do pretty good. The reason why it was so challenging was because it was our hardest clinical semester that we've ever had to do. We had clinicals almost the entire term, which was exhausting. We had four weeks of med surge clinicals and that was on the adult floor. And if you know anything about me, adults are just not my thing. And I was not having a good time with that clinical rotation. It was the hardest rotation I've ever had to get through. And it wasn't even that long. Then thankfully the next portion, the next four weeks, I got to work with kids. I went to a children's floor. And then I went to a little preschool almost and got to work with more kids. Went to a school nurse. So I got all of those fun experiences, the second portion of my clinicals. And that went so much better, you guys. I can't even explain how much of a difference it went from me being really sad about clinicals to being actually excited, which was a good, good feeling. But that is kind of where that was. And on top of that, I took 15 credits. So things got crazy really fast. I started my clinical rotation the next week, the first full week of school is when we started clinicals, two days a week, plus classes two days a week. And then sometimes we had a lab on one of our days, so we really sometimes didn't even get a day off. Back to explaining the classes. So I took Peds, Mom Baby, Med Surge 2, Clinical Immersion 4, and then my Clinical Specialty. Immersion 4 was just the adult med surge and the specialty was the pediatric rotation. During the semester, I also got to do a couple fun things. I went to a pumpkin patch. <laughs> I went on a mission trip, which was amazing. I went with my church and we went down to Florida and spent almost a week down there. probably thinking how in the world did you get to go on a trip during nursing school let me tell you there was this one week where I basically had off except for one day and I had classes on that day but since I was able to watch the class on zoom or do an alternate assignment I didn't technically have to go and it didn't hurt my score at all so I said sign me up my overall GPA this semester was 3.8 and that's even 3.80. So let's talk about the first class, which was peds. And I had a whole video planned for my first exam. I went into it because as you guys know, or might not, I want to be a pediatric nurse when I graduate. And peds was a huge letdown that entire class because the first exam I took it and I thought, oh my goodness, that was really bad. That was hard. And I thought, you know, if I passed, I thought I did pass. 
I was thinking maybe I got a 78, possibly if I pulled out a crazy one, I would have gotten an 80. That was kind of how I felt after the first exam. And I will be inserting some clips here. And well guys, I actually failed my first exam in nursing school. And it is very, very heartbreaking to fail after studying so hard because I really did study a lot. I put in a lot of long hours, even after clinical, staying up till 10, 1030 at night, trying to get as much information in. I failed by one point. I got a 74% and passing is unfortunately a 75%. So, I'm starting off the semester kind of in a bad position, to be honest, because I've never been in this position before. Every single check-off, every quiz, every test, everything in nursing school, I have passed. I've never really came that close to failing. The only time I did come close was med surge last semester, and I had about a three and a half point buffer. But this time I managed to score below the line by a point and it is scary moving forward for peds because now I'm going to be thinking about my exam average. So right now I'm sitting at a 74 and theoretically I am not passing my class. <sighs> that was one of the moments where I thought, am I supposed to be here? Am I actually supposed to be in nursing school if I can't even pass my exam? All of that happened and then a week later and then I get an email saying that she looked at a couple exam questions and decided to give points back. And the points back were two points on my score. So it bumped me up to a 76 and I did not fail. So I went an entire week thinking that I had failed my first exam. I can't even explain how excited and happy I was, but it was very, very reassuring to have that as a passing grade. So I wasn't technically failing the course or anything. It was really, really exactly what I needed when I needed it. So going into the next exam, exam two, I was especially nervous because I had basically failed my first exam, almost did, and so I was not sure how I was going to do in the next one, so I really tried to focus more, study more, and I took it, and again, I felt awful because I thought, I don't know if I passed, and that's exactly how I felt last time, and I sort of didn't. And then I got my score, and it was an 89.5, which I don't know how, you guys. I seriously don't feel like I deserved it, but I'll take it. Got the 89.5, which raised my average significantly, so I felt like I was no longer drowning in the class. Exam 3 came, and I got a 91.97, which was my highest exam score. Lastly, you might be wondering how the final went. Well, let me tell you guys. We have these things called ATIs, and I'll just give a quick rundown in case you're not familiar with it. The way UT does it, if you get a level 3, so a level 2 and a level 3 is passing, a level 3 is advanced, and this is a standardized exam, state proctored, so it's really strict and everything, and if you get that level 3, you can opt out of the final. So I was taking my ATIs, and I first took mom baby, and I got a level 2, and I was just so sad because I honestly thought that I was going to get a level 3 and opt out of that final, but I was a couple points shy of making it, so I went into the next one, the PEDS ATI, and I was so mad. I was just really, really mad at myself, and I was flying through the PEDS ATI. I was like, whatever, I don't care. I know I'm not going to make a level 3 on PEDS because... I didn't do a lot of preparation for PEDS ATI, I didn't do a lot of practice questions. I was definitely not expecting anything great. In all honesty, I was expecting a zero. And then I clicked submit and my score flashed at me and it said three. And let me tell you, I was in complete shock when I saw that number. I thought, is that right? Is, is this three what I'm reading? Because that means 
I opted out of the final. So that's where that came from. My professor just averaged my three exam scores and then that was my grade for the final, which I was completely fine with. So for my total score of the class, I ended with an A minus and a 90.87, so that rounded up to a 91. Moving on to Mom Baby, this was my easiest class. I would say Pete's was my hardest. And then Mom Baby, it was kind of a walk in the park. The first exam, I got a 90%. The second exam, I got an 84%. The third exam, I got a 99. I missed one point. And I was super excited too because I've never gotten that high of a score on a nursing school exam ever. So when I saw 99, that's almost perfect. And it was really sweet. And then lastly, the final, since I got a level two on the ATI, I still got all credit for that. I had to take it, which was sad. The final was 75 questions and I got a 93%. So my grade for the class was an A, and it was a 93.72%, which rounded to a 94. Now Med Surge, this was my second hardest class. It was for sure the class that I put the most effort into as far as studying and having to work for everything, because Med Surge isn't exactly hard necessarily. There's just so much information. They want you to know hundreds and hundreds of PowerPoint slides. For one exam, I think I counted one time, and it was about 400 PowerPoint slides. And that is just ridiculous, in my opinion. There is so much to know. Those exams were hard, and they had those next-gen questions. If you know, they're changing the NCLEX in April, so they're trying to get us ready for that new format change. So they had drag and drop, fill in the blank, select all that apply, multiple choice. I am grateful that they did uh, change the select all that apply to partial credit, but they only did that for a couple questions and it was maybe 0.25. Every little bit counts though. My first exam, exam one, was my best score and I got a 96% on that one. That is really surprising because almost the entire exam was over cardiac and that's usually my weakest area. The heart and me, we just don't understand each other. It is so complicated and all the little things, the blood flow and how disease processes change the blood flow and all these, what is it? AV blocks, Winky Bach, Mobitz 2, first degree block. All those things were just woo way over my head but I want to shout out to Sarah because she taught me the heart and we teach each other on our study sessions on zoom and she did such a good job explaining it and I really think that that made a huge difference in me grasping what the heart was and how to study for it so that 96 was a very nice little surprise the next exams I didn't really do that great. So the second exam, I got an 82.35. The third exam, I got an 84. And the final, that final was so hard. Before we took the exam, our professor said, you guys, I know that you guys are wanting to be done because it was the last final before we went on Christmas break. She goes, you do not want this to be an oops exam. Don't make this be an oops exam. I took the exam and I thought, hmm. Yeah, this is an oops exam. This is not good. Somehow I managed to get an 81.75, which is so much better than I was expecting. I needed about a 40 to pass the class. And after I took that exam, I thought, well, did I get a 40? Because I did not know half of that. And there was so many select all that apply. Just so many. The ATI, I was taking it and everything. And I've never done great on ATIs except for this semester. I don't know what happened but it was very good to actually do well. I was taking it and I got my score and it was a level two which was also like how did that happen because all my practices I got level ones or level zeros and I managed to squeak out a level two at the end and get this you guys. The percentage points were exactly what I needed for a level two. I was on the cutoff. So if I had gotten one more question wrong, 
I would have scored a level one. I would have gotten a 50% for 5% of my grade. So I would have deducted two and a half points off my total grade, which is not what you want to do. In total for my grade, I ended with a B plus and 88.35%. Last semester, I ended up with a B barely on that cutoff of B and B plus. So I did do better than last semester. The last parts that I'm gonna talk about are my clinicals. I'm not gonna go into too much details because the assignments are a little bit different. You don't really have exams, you have checkoffs. For my clinical immersion four, that was the med surge rotation and some checkoffs, care plans. Those care plans, I am so glad that I do not have to do another care plan in my life. Clinical, I got a 94%-ish, I think. It didn't really say my grade on Canvas, so I'm assuming that's around what I got. I know I got an A. Most of the care plans, except for, t no, actually all of them. All the care plans, I got A's on. I had a couple pre-lab quizzes, but they were open note, so I did well on those. My checkoffs on Ivy Push, I got a 100%, and CVAD, I got 100% which is central line dressing change, if you aren't familiar with all the acronyms, because I know I wasn't until I read it. And then the trach sectioning one, I got a 96% on my checkoff. And for the skills checkoffs, you have to get a certain amount. Usually the cutoff is around a 94 to a 96 in order to pass the skill, because you have to master it, which... Is very stressful. So last but not least is my clinical ped specialty which I kind of already talked about. We had two care plans and the first one I got an A on it. The second one I did really bad. I think I got an 88 or an 86 which is not good for a care plan. Normally you do pretty good because you work hours and hours on it but I said you know what oh well because I knew it wasn't my absolute best work because at that point it was crazy and I just wanted to get it done so I turned it in. There's those two. Then we had some reflection assignments which is kind of like a journal entry. Got hundreds on those. We did a Denver 2 screening and that was just we went to a little school and picked a child and we did the Denver 2 developmental screening on it. Then we had to write about it and I got a 100 on that. Yeah my dosage calc I got a 90% on the PED specific quiz. And then just a couple other random things too. That was my semester. I know that this is long overdue and it's almost the new one, but I wanted to get this up for you guys to kind of share. Graduation is so close. So if you guys wanna stay updated, make sure to hit subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye.